Sonia and Pavan are twins. A few days ago, they have visited their uncle's place. After enjoying for so many days, today they have returned home. Their cousin Puneet, elder son of their uncle, accompanied them back home. Puneet is elder to them and studies in college. After returning from their uncle's place where they had endless fun, suddenly they remembered their monthly test is going to be held tomorrow at school. Oh Sonia, I am not at all prepared for tomorrow's exam. Please explain the chapter from which questions are to be asked in tomorrow's exam. Pavan, even I have not prepared that well for the exams. Shall we ask Puneet bhaiya? Then both go to Puneet. Puneet bhaiya, tomorrow we have an exam on motion and measurement of distance. Please explain it to us. Sonia, you start explaining. I will help if it is needed. All right, I will try. Pavan, first we need to understand the measurement of distance. Okay. Tell me how much is this distance between our school and home? Hmm. I don't know that much, but I know that it takes 20 minutes to reach school from our home. Yes, but if we run, we will reach in lesser time. And it will take even lesser time if we go by bicycle. Now tell me how else can we measure this distance? Hmm. I don't know. Oh, Pavan, do some brainstorming. Think a bit. Hmm. Pavan walks here and there for some time in the courtyard. Okay, it took ten steps to walk from this corner, so that corner that I took around two steps per second. So according to this calculation, it must take me around twenty-three to twenty-four hundred steps to reach school from home. Well done, Pavan. Do you know that during ancient times, people used to measure distance just like this? Initially at different places people started using their distinct body parts to measure distances since ancient times in india people were measuring distance with the help of thumb and little finger by spreading the palm fully people in egypt used to use the distance between their elbows and fingertips to measure distance but pavan there is a flaw in all these ways think what is it Probably the different parts of the different people are of different sizes. Like Puneet Bhaiya, your feet are larger than mine. Absolutely correct. And Pavan, in some years your body parts will grow and your feet as well. Yes, that is why we need standard unit to take accurate measurements like meter, feet, and yard, etc. These units area extremely needed in our lives. Look like the plots of our home and farmlands all are measured we need such units which are same throughout the world to measure things like house walls bed the whole house and street precisely Sonia this is really good when we take part in sports like wrestling and boxing then our body length is also measured along with our weight and we also solve questions related to length width etc in geometry that to according to units but brother i can't understand one thing who have invented these standard units of measurement and how i know this only that the metric system was first used in france and now it considered as a standard international unit system okay You both go and bring two sticks of the same length. Both the kids do as they are asked. Just like this, a scholar has named a stick as meter and asked everyone to measure sticks equal to the first one and use them as a unit of measurement. For measuring long distances, distance equal to 1000 sticks was said to be 1 km. In English, Kilo means a thousand meters. And what if we need to measure smaller distances? For that, if you mark ten equal sized marks on the meter stick and then divide the tenth part again in ten parts, now each section is equal to a centimeter, which is used to measure smaller distances. Now tell me that if we need to measure the perimeter of a bicycle tire how will you do it For that I will take a spinning tops 
thread and mark it with the help of meter stick. Well done, Pavan. I'm sure that you will perform well in your tomorrow's exam.